Okay, this podcast is on how to record the iPad screen along with your voice in a classroom setting. The first step is to make sure that your iPad's wireless connection is on the same network as your Mac or PC. So that's the first thing. Second thing is you need to download and install an application called Reflection App for the Mac or PC. And what it does is it uses AirPlay on your iPad that's already built in to mirror your display along with the audio coming from the iPad or iPhone. And so it's going to record both or view both, view the screen and they have the ability to record audio sent from your iPad or iOS device. Thirdly, you need to purchase an app called Von Brano or Von Bruno microphone for your iPad. And this is what it looks like. Um, when you open up the application, there is a couple things I want to highlight that you'll need to know and make sure and use. One is this button here actually sets it to begin recording and also this button here let's do multi mode which when you close the or hit the home button on your iPad and it's running in the background you can do other things and it's going to send the audio of this microphone to the Mac or PC that you're connected to AirPlay with. So let's go ahead and do a demo real quick. Uh, I have in front of me here the iPad screen that you see here that we've been using. I'm going to go ahead and go down to the iPad home screen. To sh I'm connected via AirPlay to my Mac using Reflection app, as I mentioned earlier. And I'm on the same network, and so you're now seeing on my MacBook the screen of my iPad. Reflection app is also available on a Windows platform, and it does basically the same thing. One of the things Reflection has in it is uh, the ability to record it's only going to record the video and audio sent from your iPad or iPhone device. That's where the application down here, Von Bruno, comes in, or Von Bruno. I'm going to go ahead and fire that up and show you what it looks like. You'll notice the button in the middle. If I click on it, it turns blue. You want the volume to be maybe one one dot on your screen. That should be enough. If you have it too high, you can get uh, feedback, which wouldn't be good. The other thing you want to make sure is at the bottom here, this multi button. Make sure that is clicked on and it's blue. And the middle button is clicked on and it's blue. So these two items should be blue before you hit the home screen button, the home button. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the home button and now you'll notice at the top of my iPad there is a microphone recording option here. And so now it's actually recording the voice, my voice, as it's going to um, my Mac here. So that concludes how to record your iPad screen along with your voice.